Darling, are you all right? You're running late for work. <coughs> Darling? <coughs> Darling? Is there something you don't want to do? Visit the Twerking Shrimp, New Zealand's first and only deliberately dubious seafood restaurant. Tarakihi, Blue Wareho, Red Cod, Kahawai. Just some of the great varieties you might encounter if you order the fish of last week. Or why not try the dish that inspired it all, Twerking Shrimp. Beer battered shrimp bites that move on your plate. Why do they do that? We don't want to know. The Twerking Shrimp. Gastrointestinal distress guaranteed. Many items may lead to serious injury or death consumer to your own risk. Now this is Radio Ugh News, bringing you up to the minute news coverage of what really matters. Kia ora, good evening. A woman in the Bay of Plenty was struck down this evening by a mortifying childhood memory. It's unclear what prompted the memory to return with such force, as the woman had put considerable effort into burying it deep in her subconscious. The woman describes the return of the 25-year-old memory as toe-curlingly embarrassing, and locked herself in her room for several hours in response. Our news team inquired further on the exact nature of this childhood memory, but received the following statement, Obviously, I'm not going to tell you. Oh dear God, I just thought about it again. In local news, radio host Anna Broadbent is once again questioning her life choices after a brief yet frustrating conversation with local real estate agent Andrew James O'Sullivan. Mr O'Sullivan's reminder of Ms Broadbent's high-achieving teenage years led her to ponder whether she did in fact peak in high school, a depressing concept for someone who hated it so much. I'm Ken Park with Radio Yuk News. Thank you and good night. Hi, I'm Andrew James O'Sullivan from O'Sullivan Real Estate, representing 50 years of real estate excellence. Nothing trumps experience when it comes to finding the perfect property for you and your family. All the potential in the world doesn't mean anything without the results to back it up. Anna Broadbent. You can't go wrong with those Sullivan real estate. This is Radio Ugh. Sit back, relax, and scream into the void. You're listening to Radio Ugh with your host Anna Broadbent who was doing her best to avoid spiralling into yet another existential crisis, thanks to local businessman and aspiring politician Andrew James O'Sullivan. I just... There are no words, listeners. No words at all. Okay, I lied. There are words, and several of them. Andy O'Sullivan is a boil on the left buttock of humankind. He has the audacity to talk about hard work when he's busy coasting off his dad's legacy and can't even tell me what he does in a day. And the worst part? He's some kind of idiot savant when it comes to figuring out exactly where to hit where it hurts. Seriously, what the hell? I haven't talked to the guy in 15 years. Where does he get off talking about my potential? What the actual fuck, Andy? If the universe was fair... Andy O'Sullivan would be waist deep in molasses by now. No, he'd be neck deep. He'd be in a swimming pool full of molasses with rocks tied to his ankles and, whoa, okay, that got darker than I meant it to. Yikes. Let's, uh, how about another song? This is Radio Ugh. It's two in the morning and I'm here again Just thinking about the things I could have been I stare at the ceiling as I lay in bed With so many questions running through my head Narcissistic asshole and impulsive piece of shit Who people just pretend to tolerate it best 
am I a victim of my former gifted child analysis Which leaves me with a false assumption I'm a cut above the rest Have I been burdened with a tendency to torch my happiness Because I never learned to look before I leap Does everybody actually hate me? Or do I need to get some sleep? Something I've got going for me But all of these questions just won't let me be Would it be better in the long run if I dug a giant hole And made myself a secret bunker underground? Or is that just another weird idea I'll never follow through on? When it comes to me and common sense, it's nowhere to be found. Do other people talk about me as a cautionary tale? A vaguely disappointing failure and black sheep. Does everybody actually hate me? Or do I need to get some sleep? Am I the worst thing that could happen to the people that I love And they all secretly regret the day we met Am I a burden to the universe by daring to exist Because somehow I still believe I could be something better yet Why is it people seem to like the surface version I portray But make an exit when it gets a bit too deep Does everybody actually hate me or do I need 